you know, my main focus for our players in Chicago and for a youth program would be just to get better every day. Every day come with that focus and get better in what areas, get better in their skill, get better in their compete. And I do believe players can get better with their sense. Um, and, and the way we do that every day and the way that I would do that with, with, with a youth program is, is showing the players how invested I am in their development, their individual development, obviously within the team concepts, whatever that would be for you. But you build those meaningful relationships, you're actually going to be able to maximize their development. And, and I, I think that it's something that we do at a very high level. It allows us to create lasting habits for our players. Obviously, on the ice, off the ice is just as important. Um, and the very last thing that we talk about in the USHL, a level where winning is important, is winning. I don't know if I said that word one time this year. And if I was coaching at the youth level, I definitely wouldn't, I wouldn't say it at all. If I'm coaching U14, U12, obviously competitiveness is important. Um, that drive, that will, but I could care less how many games we win. And I do believe that as your players get better, as individuals, the team gets better. And as a result of that process, you will win. At our level, it's, it's difficult to do that. You need to have the support. <laughs> levels beyond us, obviously, are even more difficult to do that. But I feel like at the lower levels, that is all that should matter, is the individual development of the player. And if you do that, the team will get better. And I believe that that is the way it works. As far as um, the on-ice piece, how practice works, like my, I, the goals I have for practice with our players is putting them in positions where they have to solve problems, trying not to solve problems for them. Um, like the buzzword, constraint-led approach, like that, that's what I would do, that's what I do with our players on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, helping them read time and space, improving their awareness, their processing. The game happens fast. You've heard it a bunch this week, um, uh, the last couple of days. And the thing that I always think about as a player, like when I was growing up, coaches would be surprised why you have like performance anxiety as a player, or you're unable to make plays under pressure. How often were we under pressure in practice? Rarely. So as much as possible, and depending on you know, the amount of time you have to practice, the age of your kids, that depends on what you would do, or, or the amount that you're doing that, those type of drills. And it's not just reading and reacting, it's being able to manipulate um, defenders, controlling opponents, and, and I believe that the play off the puck is just as important as the play with the puck. And then a simple way to, to build your practice, or for us, the way we build our practice is we have themes. So what I did today um, was kind of went with, a, with, a, with one theme, and, and you can see it here, offensive zone, that's the day. And I, I kind of looked at this as, as if we'd have maybe, an, I don't know what a youth program, honestly, I have no idea how much ice time a youth program I have, but if I'm coaching a AAA U15 team or whatever, I, or, you know, 15 only, I, I would hopefully have an hour and a half, and I would build, you know, the bulk of the practice, try to get what I want to get accomplished within that hour, and then technical skills are still important, and I would try to, to have that built in practice with, with skill drills, pods, whatever, I'm not going to show that, but whether it was before or after practice, things that would build into practice is the way that I would go about it.